From the moment that the last eruption of the Sununka crater chain in the source and volcanic system of the Reykjanes Peninsula in the Iceland started like this, we had the start of the next cycle of the magma accumulation in the ground at the depth of four to five kilometers. We expected, based on my estimates, that by 23rd of February, we will have a new eruption. There has been some changes since then into that. And I will explain at the end of this video by adding another video. But now we know that the magma volume has reached the lower threshold of the eruption. This is the lower threshold needed for the magma to be able to have enough pressure to erupt. And that is the lower threshold. You can see that. The diagram I showed you, this shows this. Every time we had such a threshold reached, within two, three, one week, most one month time, we had an eruption. And the last time it was only three days since that threshold was reached. So there is a quite possibility that we have an eruption, but because the bad weather is actually showing that you can see the weather is so windy that the bad weather, the severe weather will make the equipment, the sensors that we have on the ground to measure the uplift of the land or the earthquakes and tremors not be as sensitive as we expect. They already are showing the errors created by the low pressure in the air and the wind effect. The only thing that we have is the earthquakes in the faraway regions within that area, nothing like that. So we are seeing a possibility of error in the GPS data and also in the uh, land rise. Eruption may happen without any warning during this period. We, and we will not be able actually to give an early warning because our sensors are not as accurate as they used to be because of the bad weather. I explained that why we may expect a new eruption soon. And what has changed since then in the coming video here? Something strange has happened in the Swartzing volcanic system, in the Eldwarp uh, and the Skipatsit Heron, which are to the west of the Swartzengi. We have seen GPS data showing odd strange changes a drop down in the ground level as you can see here the land has fallen down the distance from east to west also has shrunk slightly squeezing as if something the same for the skipatskit heron and in the similar area in the sorsengi we see the opposite of it something being added there as if the gps data shows the land is has risen slightly. The land rise due all of this is happening here because probably magma is being shifted from the west to the east as you can see here and it can actually hasten up, speed up the process of the eruption putting it forward from the date of the 23rd of February that I predicted. At the moment this is what we see beautiful aurora in the sky nothing to do with what is going on it's quietly under the ground drop down of the ground and rise of the ground with the sword sengi that practically has increased the amount of the magma available in the sourcing volcanic system itself in the area that is going to erupt and by increasing the magma it makes uh, it has reached already the threshold for the eruption which we had in the previous cases. It may actually be a little bit uh, later, but we may not see the very, you know, pronounced period of the earthquakes from the Eldwarp to Skipatsky Heron and the Sorsengi. We are seeing a shifting of the magma. Any moment, we may have the eruption, the eruption which was something like this when it happened the last time that we had such an event.
The fact is that we cannot see through the Earth. This is opaque. Even glow of the uh, you know infrared cannot travel within the rock itself. You don't see the magma as hot glowing material. It is all dark, but we can measure what is under it by using the GPS. This is a satellite uh, tracking system. You can see the distances, measure the distances. We have different stations in the Reckoners Peninsula and we plot them on a graph like that. The graph close up shows the points and the error uh, margin with the vertical lines. You can see those ones. And it shows that we have, after some time of the steady rise, we have some flattening. Getting gradually, that means the bulging up of the ground, which shows something, we, we infer that to be magma, has moved upward, then has uh, moved a little bit slightly down or stayed the same, means something coming in, at the same time something is going out, that keeps it steady, in that sense, keep it flat or even falling, depends on the how much it comes, how much it goes out of that system. Sourcing volcanic system is uh, notorious for that over the past several months. This is a rift valley, I'll call it Grindavik Rift Valley. Face of the rifts, uh, fault lines, we can see them, there are numerous ones, them. this is just a cartoon showing the simple version of it, superimposed on the aerial photographs by the Meteorological Office of the Iceland. This is the range, this is the basin, typical uh, you know, setting for this kind of uh, magma movements and the rifts and the faults. So I think Blue Lagoon, we have a rise uplift, then sideways movement of the uh, magma. Creating seals at this stage, it seems, is not rising to erupt to the surface. We had several eruptions in the past. It's not getting difficult for it to actually make it to the surface. The pressure probably is not enough or the magma is going somewhere else, most of it. So when we plot them um, again, on this chart, this is what you will see. We just deal here with the lower part, which is actually what we see. And uh, all the points shows that at this stage, toward the L dwarf, which is the west side of the Sorsengi, we have a continuous accumulation of the magma. This is what my colleague Arman Khoshkotson actually is saying that, and he, have a, he has been an advocate for this, that the magma eventually will move toward the west, where we have the Eldworth volcanic system, and erupts there. So at this stage, we can read the GPS data, we can infer from that, that the, to the other side, in the source thing, we have only a seal formation, but we may have another eruption in the Eldworth area toward the west, but that will not happen until autumn, probably, according to him. But I say that toward the east, we only have at, at the moment, it seems we have only seal formation, these igneous seals.